Welcome, Cancer. This is your weekly focus for the week of July the 29th. I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly, and thank you for being here. Thank you for all of the support you send my way each and every day. Okay, let's see what the cards have to reveal for our upcoming week. We start, of course, with our underlying energy. This is the energy that will be in our landscape the entire week. And we have the Three of Wands. I have a hair here or something. I'm shedding. Uh, the Three of Wands. What we're contemplating this week. We are thinking about how we want to go forward. So we are definitely looking at our, our path. I think long term with this card because we're giving it great thought. Although some people put more energy into a two-week vacation rather than long-term stability. But I think I'm getting this sense of long-term stability and looking at how you can create that in your life, what options are available to you, what resources that you have at hand and resources that you can bring in. I, I think you're looking at different ways of, yeah, bringing in some kind of long-term security in your world. And you may even have a little bit of action there towards it. But I, I do think we are looking at, maybe we're looking at different things. Maybe we're sitting down with uh, a bank manager or somebody with loans or a mortgage advisor or, you know, somebody to to kind of guide us. Maybe we're looking at looking at retirement soon and so we're sitting down with somebody who can allow us to understand what we have to work with and how that will impact our future and how to maybe increase it maybe we're looking 10 years down the road or 20 years down the road maybe we're looking at next year whatever it is for you okay but you're i think that that we are we are looking forward here and for some reason i got stuck on money for you so okay the death card is your first card. It's time to throw off that cloak. Okay. It's time for some kind of emotional healing to happen in your life, to let go of an event or something that's really shaped your world, a hurt. It's coming to life. It's allowing yourself to shine. It's allowing your self-confidence to lead the way that you don't have to cloak yourself or hide yourself or protect yourself in the ways that you have been doing. And maybe you've come through a period of time where that was necessary in your life. But if you take a moment to take that cloak off and look around, you'll realize that you are entering a new phase, a safe phase, and you are working on that security in some way. You know you've got this. So it's about allowing your inner child, your inner child sits right here, awaiting you to let off that cloak, to soar into the skies, to feel the sense of freedom and sense of liberation. And I think you feel that most, or, or you feel like you will feel that most right now in this time in your life where you have a strong foundation beneath you. So will you be okay? long term and it's about allowing the joy in your life the celebration in your life to not bog yourself down okay I, i'm thinking that there's a there's some kind of emotional healing that needs to happen here in your life letting go of something okay we are in full moon energy for the entire week so it is a time to let go of a past hurt or where you didn't feel confident enough or brave enough or you you knew you had it in you, but you didn't do it anyways. And you're kind of like, you know, shaming yourself, you know, stop that, please. Okay. Realize the miraculous, beautiful person you are, especially when the death card comes out here first, it's about revealing that beauty that you've hidden within, or you've pushed down in some way. We've got the tower card. Oh, wow. Okay. We have the death and tower. Talk about a transformative week for you cancer my goodness this is about you know okay so look at this card this way okay this is you that ball of light intense 
Okay. And you just, you just explode, right? You just let that, that true, that true you out of the box. You allow your self-expression to lead the way you allow your, yeah, you allow your, your self-expression to lead the way. And you, you literally blow the roof off of that glass ceiling what was a limitation, what was something that stood in your way can no longer exist in your world with these cards. And I don't even know if you have a lot to say about it, okay? So there's something that will happen very transformative in your world this week. Allow it, okay? You want this to happen. You want to feel the freedom. You want to feel the liberation. So regardless of what it is, detach yourself from the emotion. Okay, detach yourself from the emotion of the situation and look at it rationally. You know, under the same circumstances, what advice would you give a friend if they were sitting in this situation? Would it be the same advice as you're giving yourself now? I take it back a moment, okay? Because this is a time when truly something happens. that It's magical and it might be very fleeting, but... So pay attention to how you can allow your your self-expression out. I get self-expression over and over here, okay? Um, or self, self-confidence. But I, I think it all comes from some kind of emotional healing that you allow at the very maybe beginning of the week. And we have the justice card. Oh, my goodness. Talk about strong energy. Cancer. This is a very transformative time for you. Even if you're not feeling like the transformation is happening, sometimes it's in hindsight that we really see the transformation we went through. Just trying to, I don't know, stay up, I hear stay above the curb or something, you know, like you, you want to, but so this is about releasing what no longer has value in your life or releasing what no longer supports you holds you up, holds you strong, allows you to stand with that confidence, that knowing that you've got this, you can do it, to tap into that resource within yourself. And so once again, tapping into that inner expression and how you allow it to flow, how you allow your knowledge and your wisdom to flow through that experience. Maybe you, you, you're teaching or... Are you open to some kind of a teaching opportunity? Are you already do teach and you're, you're raising your energy to the next level? And we teach in so many ways. If you're a parent or an aunt or an uncle, you got that cute nephew or that grandchild or whatever it might be, you are a teacher, okay? Even if you're, you don't have a classroom in front of you or you're not standing on a stage, we're all teachers of something. And this is about allowing that flow of the teacher within you to, but it also brings in, you know, I'm going back to that stability. So in some way, you're utilizing that to, to grow that 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 foundation that strength and that could be in relationships absolutely but i'm thinking it's more job it's more career related to the way the flow is going here um this is about making a commitment to yourself this is about picking a goal a dream a desire and then it's about yeah making the commitment to maybe that goal that dream that desire your passion and it's It's about being consistent. It's about showing up. It's about giving your dream, your desire, your passion, the time, the space, the energy, the vitality, the nurturing that it needs in order to grow into that success you can see yourself being in a future tense. Okay, um, what overrides this energy is the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles is a new path towards prosperity, more often than not, a new way of bringing in prosperity, a new path towards wealth, 
Okay, so, and it's all about, it's all about healing from that emotional wound. What is it? Because, and it doesn't even have to relate to where you want to go forward, okay? It's just an emotional wound that is large enough, that has a presence in your subconscious to pull everything about you down, to drag you down, to bring in um, a lack of confidence, where there should be beautiful confidence in who you are. And where you're going, for goodness sakes, with these cards alone, where you're going. Okay, so we have a new path. And it's kind of like that new path emerges because we we broke through that glass ceiling. We emerged as a new, the, the phoenix rising out of the, the ashes. It's, and going forward with the strength. And we're clearing away some of the things that no longer have value or no longer supports us so that we have things that only do support us, that only do bring in value, that only do move us forward and build our confidence more and more stronger each and every day so that we do take that risk on ourselves. Cradling this energy is the Seven of Pentacles. So a lot of this rests on where you're putting your focus, where you're putting your energy. Okay, we can't put a seed in the ground and come back in six months and go, what happened? Where is it? Why didn't it grow? Where's my bumper crop? We know that is not a reality. We know that the consistency, the focus. So I think here, what we're doing more than anything else this week is we are understanding how we are going to create that time or that vitality, that energy, that window of opportunity to bring that dream, that passion into existence. So I wonder the star card isn't here. My goodness, okay. As we come into this week, Look at this. It's about celebration. It's about raising your joy. It's okay. So all of this happens because you decided to just go out and have some fun. It's as easy peasy as that, Cancer. Go out and just enjoy yourself. Fall in love with yourself. See the beauty of who you are. Make plans to go out and celebrate and shine your brightest light. And regardless if it's in relationships or, or work and career or any part of your life, there's going to be this new energy that allows you to allow in that healing that needs to be. You're not going to let it stop you anymore. You are going to blow through that limitation, that fear, that anxiety. You are going to understand what has value, what will support you as you turn and make a commitment to yourself and go forward in probably a new path towards prosperity, abundance, love. Let's see here how we end the week. We've got the judgment card. Okay, you just want to maybe stop right there and just take a screenshot of all the cards there. I, I know I don't have the the best. I, I have a, a, a shine that I can't seem to get off of the cards. So, um, so I'm working on that. But in the meantime, look what you have here in front of you, Cancer. I mean, it's, it's, I, I, I want to say I can't get more spectacular than this, but it could absolutely. There's more cards in the deck that um, do bring in favor and happiness. It starts with your joy, though, which is absolutely phenomenal. So you, I don't care if you don't feel like it. Get out there. Socialize with purpose, with a self-confidence, okay? Um, allow your self-expression to come out. So if you paint, if you garden, redecorate, whatever it might be, maybe it's just the way you, you do those form letters and it's just like nobody can do it like that. I don't care what it is, where you are creative, where you allow you to become part of the environment in some way. And what is your passion? What is your dream? What is your desire? What are you hoping for? What do you feel that you cannot step into, but you really want to step into? Because this is the week where the ground breaks and the steps appear and you can go forward. The ground breaks, the steps appear and you can go forward. Absolutely. The judgment card comes in and it's a rebirth. It's, it's a death and rebirth. It's about letting a part of your world slip away on purpose because it no longer serves you and you are done with it. 
So I think there's this great energy that can come through here this week for you to really push you forward into the path that you're destined to walk. Oh my goodness. Okay, so work and career, all the nine of swords appears. All oh, we worry, we worry. Okay, so go, go within, okay? Take some time to go within. You know, is what you do aligning with your core values? And if it isn't, then what needs to change? I remember at one point in time, you know, anybody could walk in with their children into um, where I where I worked. And then they were going to kind of enter this kind of jokingly sexist kind of thing that you could use. And, you know, it wasn't appropriate for children. And they wanted us to put it on the front, you know, right, right next to the tail. And I refused to <laughs> because I was always that person. And I refused to. And and they said, oh, come on now. Like, you know, you take your child into this store because this was, a, you know, and I won't name it. And I said, and I knew not to bring my children to the back of that store that we could only stay in the front half because that's where the scenery changed. So I don't want my children to come in here and I need to explain this product to them. That's not a place I want to work at. And, uh, you know, they, they allowed me to not put it on the front counter and slowly it got moved to the back counter. And so, you know, to stop worrying about what you can't control and, and control what you can. I was, I wasn't going to put this little, you know, object for sale on my front counter. And like I had pride in what I was selling, you know, it was going to be behind the drapes. Okay. And if you knew about it, I'd get one out for you, but you know, so that's what I could control. And then when somebody came, I stood in my moral values and I said, no, I don't feel comfortable with this. Because it was the first thing that was coming in. So I thought, you know, we could, we could definitely go in a whole different a whole different category here of, of business that I didn't really want to be a part of. And so I thought, you know, if this is the first step, I want to stop it now. So I had control in what I did. I had no control in the company, allowing everybody else to do it and, and what went on outside of it. It was, you know, particularly what I could do within my control. And sometimes they would make decisions where I just had no control. And so be it. You know, so I had to just, you know, decide, does this match my moral values or do I need to find something that does match my moral values? So I really kind of get that that's there because I think now that you've broken through that glass ceiling, you're starting to look at what you do and you're going, am I really getting out of it what I want to get out of it? Does it really satisfy me? Does it really move me towards my ultimate dreams and goals? Okay. Love and relationships. We got the King of Pentacles. You guys are getting like a, a beautiful personal reading. Please leave in the comments if, uh, you know, you can kind of give some kind of validation to this because I just think it's a phenomenal reading for you. Um, the King of Pentacles. So um, tried and true in our relationships. Absolutely. You know, take time to understand your core values. Once again, it's going in. It all starts with that very first emotional healing that I kind of got in at the beginning and, and having fun, having fun is so important to bringing this all to life for you. Um, and of course, then there's the focus and, you know, uh, I'll go on and on if I go that way. Um, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is here and he is in our relationships. So we're looking more at, yeah, we're looking more at what, where we feel that we want to have an enriched and loving relationship or we want to and how we experience joy in that relationship. I think a lot of things that we are looking at are very tried and true, but I also think that we need to kind of get a little creative and innovative in what we do within those relationships that we have. I think we need to express our feelings very loudly, very openly, very confidently. And I don't mean shouting matches, but I, you know, to stand in your confidence and say, this is what I need in the relationship. How can we work towards this together? You know, whether it's a best friend, a spouse, 
It could be a child, a parent, whatever. Um, you know, somebody you hold dear in your heart, okay? And and I think our focus is uh, is about uh, letting down some walls within those relationships, working towards letting down some walls. And I think you're giving it more thought than you are. I, I think this is more of, you know, we're we're looking at the different ways that we can introduce this into our relationships. If we are um, looking for a relationship, we'll get out and have joy and celebrate and, and uh, just socialize, you know, ask your friends, do you know of anybody? Because that's tried and true, right? You already got somebody saying they're an okay person. <laughs> so, so, you know, but this could be new, new steps in prosperity. If it is somebody that you are meeting, they are probably um, very strong in their financial state. They probably have their own toys and stuff. All their, you know, the, maybe it's a car or whatever. They, they, they do have um, a certain amount of wealth that can't diminish easily like it's almost um you know it's family money throughout the years right it's really hard to get rid of the money even if they were a little but they're grounded but i get, I get the sense of new experiences and really taking you out of your comfort zones so take it slow and steady um if anybody like that comes into your life there could be somebody very influential that just comes in and just whisks you away um and you really need to tear down some walls and they help you to do that they're very strong in in who they are if you're having somebody coming into your life or you are very strong in the relationship and you want to take it to a place of great love great joy okay we'll grab one more card shall we and we have the eight of pentacles yeah this talks about future successes uh you raising the bar on yourself you understanding what you are capable of and yes raising the bar on yourself uh you know making a dent in in, in revealing that true potential that you have giving it more than um giving it more energy or more time more of your vitality more maybe it's resources that you got to throw towards it maybe you need to you know uh you do videos and you got to upgrade your camera. You got to upgrade your microphone or you need a new camera or whatever it might be for you. Um, you know, we're looking at how to do those things in our life. I, I think this is mainly something that happens more internally than externally in your world this week, but it's really setting you up. I mean, we, we do have a new moon coming um at the end of the week and i can definitely see this this sense of death and letting go in order to step into new wonderful paths that are in alignment with who you truly are as a person until we meet again remember i do love you